guys, sorry bunnies. Today I went to some thrift stores and I bought some Disney books. All for 50 cents or a dollar a piece. And I wanted to share them with you. I've cleaned them all up. And um, usually all these kids books have fingerprints, food, sometimes crayons, uh, markers. So what I found to use is just um, Pledge, the dust cleaner. I spray some paper towels and wipe all that off. I found that using like wipes, like um, bleach wipes, it can actually get words and paint off of your books. So Pledge is the easiest I found. So let's go ahead and look at some of these. So right here is a Pocahontas. Um, it's by Golden Books. Uh, Disney. That was from 1995. There it's got the company, an illustrator, and I do have um, a big Pocahontas book already. So this one I will probably just give to my sister, but it's so cute, so I don't know. I might keep it. Next, I have this Pocahontas uh, Play and Sound by Disney. The batteries don't work, but these would have all um, lit up and made sound. I am going to put batteries in it. This was from 1995. There's the illustrator. Pretty cute. I'm actually going to keep it. <laughs> I know I'm a dork, but I like this. These are the last two um, Pocahontas I found. The Missing Gift, this is from Scholastic, the uh, Princess Collection. And these were the two Pocahontas ones that were there. It's by that illustrator and the story. And this is a story about trust. I can't wait to read it. This wasn't in the movie, so this is a new story. And the same thing with this book. A Promising Day, a story about keeping promises. So I'm assuming that each one of these stories is different morals with princesses in them. I'm so excited. A different um, story in this one too. Next is this Lion King. It's the Lion King Pal Patrol. And it's kind of the same basis, I think, as the princess ones. But they're different stories and they have different morals. So it looks pretty cute. <laughs> Look at Pumu. Pumba. <laughs> and Simone. Here's the other Lion King book. This one looks brand new, and this is one of those big ones that has the whole story in it. I already have a Lion King, so I'm giving this one to my sister. It looks like nobody even read this because see how the pages don't want to turn that way? It's so stiff, like no one even read it. So I'm gonna give that to her. So it was 1994, adapted by, and I think that's the same person that does the illustrations. Then a small itty bitty book of Sleeping Beauty. I don't know if I'm going to keep this or gift it. The pages are glossy. But the illustrations are really cute. <laughs> I mean, look at Prince Philip. Oh, he's my favorite prince out of all of the Disney princes. I think he's good looking. And he beats a dragon, who's also a witch fairy. So, you know, Prince Philip's awesome. Next is this Alice in Wonderland by Del uh, Yearling. And it's, you know, written by Lewis Carroll, of course. And it's got the original Alice in Wonderland drawings by the illustrations by Don, um, John uh, Tenning. I think is how you say it. I know it's, it's spelled T-E-N-N-I-E-L. But this is a pop-up book. And there's Alice falling down the rabbit hole. And here's more about this book designed and who published it. But so far I think it looks cute. I've got a better pop-up book. That was like a $40 pop-up book. Um, but this one looked interesting nonetheless, and it's got Bill the Lizard. You don't ever see him and stuff. Here's the expensive pop-up book that I was talking about. It's in my gloss um, Alice shelf. This is amazing. <laughs> this one does have some rips and tears in certain spots, 
but it still is very cute. I got this Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the Walt Disney Big Book, the whole story. I need to get Goo Gone and take off the tag. Adapted by. And here are some beautiful pictures in it. So, pretty cute. Then these are some other books that are not Disney per se, but they're pretty awesome. Um, here is The Wind in the Willows. This is about Mr. Toad and Mole and the Weasels and the Badger. Look at these illustrations. They're incredible. This is a book, I think it was from the 80s. Yeah. 1982. And then it was illustrated by this guy, John. Which is fabulous. I can't wait to read all of these. I only know a couple of the Mr. Toad stories. Probably the ones that everybody knows that they made movies about. So it'd be cool to see the rest. Then I bought this Thumbelina book. I love Hans Christian Andersen. He is my favorite fairy tale author. I also love Brothers Grimm. Um, so when I saw this with Thumbelina, it looked amazing. So let's see if it says who. Aha! So it is illustrated by this person. I have no idea how to say their name. And look at these pictures. I love Thumbelina. Hans Christian Andersen is the one that wrote it, along with the Snow Queen, along with Little Mermaid. So, this was beautiful. <laughs> I thought. Next, I got an American Girl book for my sister. She collects these. This one is one of the really, really old ones. I think from the 80s. Yeah, 1986, illustrated by Renee. So, that one's going to go to her. And lastly, this one didn't have a book cover or anything, but I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> it's about this rabbit. I love rabbits. I'm going to read it and then probably pass it on to someone who's having a baby. And lastly, the creme de la creme of the day, this old Wizard of Oz book. It is leather bound with gold. It comes with a bookmark. Beautiful illustrations. Some are printed in there. Illustrated by, wrote by, and this is from 1985 and it's in mint condition. This was still in the plastic wrap when I bought it and I literally bought it for 50 cents. Uh, this book usually goes for, I was looking, for $35-$45 um, and that's like used and this one is new. So there's that. And then some other things I got from the thrift store, some stickers for Halloween and a little spider. <laughs> But thanks for watching. Bye.